Welcome back. You're live here in Orlando, Florida for our national championships. It's the winner's bracket finals, and we got classic and believe the hype ready to lock it up. That's right, Farouk. We have an amazing matchup, and I can't believe it. It's our fifth seeded classic taking on the seventh seeded believe the hype. And first, we got to take a look at this gorgeous red team. That's Team Classic. That's Soldier 187, the captain, the new addition, Ghost Ayami Chig, and the man with the battle rifle that will not stop hitting headshots. That's best man at the end. And on the blue team, Chris, we have Believe the Hype, the Cinderella team from the beginning making a return. You look at Maniac, who pretty much won the game for them for straight, and then you have Demon, Cloud, and then Clutch, my little prodigy. Exactly, Believe the Hype looking strong. They're scrappy, but they get it done. And here we go, Scott, very exciting. Game one coming up first. We have Pit CTF, one of our favorite game types to kick this one off, and let's take a look. You guys know how it works. We showed you last night on ESPN Saturday night. There's three, two flags, score the flag three times to cap. There's the overshield down low, gives you extra shield. The rockets are in the middle. And of course, each team will have a sniper to play with. Here we go, we are gonna be kicking this one off with Cloud from Believe the Hype. And check this out, Scott. Normally we see Cloud going up top of the sniper. He's gonna go and try and put heavy shots on the guy going for the opponent sniper. But this time, he's going long haul and they're pulling a flag in 20 seconds. And you know, Believe the Hype's always one of those teams, Clutch always told me that if he watches a team, he'll change their strat to counter him. And here we go, Cloud somehow surviving the shots coming from Chig, and he's able to get the flag all the way through his green box, but Best Man is sitting in that green box, basically watching the flag all with these rockets here. He's gonna get some help there as Soldier 187 is getting positioned to pull the Believe the Hype flag, and this early start here from Believe the Hype, their new starting strategy might not be working out so well. ghostyami has got the flag moving towards Needles. And Ghost is going to be taken down by a nice snipe by Demon D, but there is a perfect battle rifle from Best Man taking down Cloud. He's going to be picked off on the green box and dropping his rockets, but we're going to jump on board with Demon D. He's starting to heat up with his sniper rifle. Let's listen in to start this game off with Believe the Hype. They're playing, they're playing. They're playing. They're playing. Two of their needle pits. Two of their needle Their turret. Their green one shot. Their turret. Their Ghost, turret. on the pit? Ghost, what's on the pit? Down. They're near, they're near, two of them. They're camera. One shot their camera, one shot their camera. 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 One shot their and Classic is going for a flag pull. We're listening in with this squad as Soldier 187 will be watching Ghost's back with the sniper rifle. On bridge, on bridge, on bridge, on bridge right now. Clutch is our training, guys. Clutch is our training, our training, our training, clutch. They're playing one shot, demon, nice. That's one dead. All right, second to fire. I'm spawning right now. Hit our camo, hit our camo, our needle. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Right here, right here.
Scott, so let's come back in here. We just saw as Cloud helped clear out the needle side. Meanwhile, Maniac picked up a double kill in the green box. They have two snipers to work with now, and it's really the first time we've seen Believe the Hype since the very first play of the game that they've been on the Classic side of the map here. Yeah, they pretty much just slow down the pace of the game, and they use Classic's aggression against them. And right now we're checking out as Clutch is doubling back, looking at his flag. Gosiami snuck through the long haul and got behind his team. And now he's trying to run the Believe the Hype flag again. And Believe the Hype really just unable to push out of their base because there's constant pressure on their objective. We're going to check out his flag. He's going to wait for his teammates to clear off the green box. And then he's going to through the long haul. And he's getting the call out. There's a player in green. That was Best Man. Takes down Best Man. And now he's going to move over towards the, the new sniper coming up here. Back up, back up. Inside and we saw what Cloud can do with this weapon, especially on this map. And the Team Slayer against Stray Ribbon, Cloud was really the one that took over the map using this weapon, Scott. And it's, it's, it's his positioning, Chris. Most players don't go to sword. I personally don't like it, but way, the way his team works, it helps his team out a lot. And then Cloud was going over to the Classic Squad, immediately shut him down. Meanwhile, Chig was grabbing the flag, and he is moving it through long haul. And it looks like the only player to stop him is going to be Maniac. Maniac distracted with shots from Platt coming from Soldier 187. And it looks like Classic is going to be the first on the board. There we go. So Classic is going to be the first one to score. And you were pointing out the screen. What's going on, Scott? Say I mean, just single-handedly dominated their side of the map. He just killed two players on that side and securing control pretty much. And now, because they have control, you see Best Man there, N10. He's holding the sniper rifle, watching long haul. Jig trying to stay alive with his brand new sniper rifle that they just picked up. And now you see him going to work, putting a shot on Demon D there, which, who's in the needles. But there we go. Demon D is actually going to get inside the base. He's going to be running the flag. And there's a perfect toss to top middle. Believe the hype coming right back for a counter cap opportunity. Meanwhile, Soldier 187 for Team Classic has just picked up the overshield, but Maniac is watching it with the Rockets, immediately shut him down. So Believe the Hut not only captures, but they maintain map control here. And that's a huge momentum swing there for him, Chris. Now Classic's thinking, how can we take this back? And all four of them spawn Mauler, so they're going to have a hard time with this. And it looks like, you know, they, they used a bit of teamwork there. They sent three guys long haul, shut down two players, and then picked up a third kill on Green Box. The last player alive for Believe the Hype is on their sniper tower, and Chig has that sniper rifle taking a look at him. And you got these two teams. You want to check out the last time they met. You got to go way back to Meadowlands, winner's bracket round one, where Believe the Hype took the series three to one. And they also beat Triggers Down and Straight Ripping in consecutive series after that. Wow. And Chig finally shutting down Maniac after the, his double kill. He picks up a double kill of his own. Clutch going up here, decides to drop off the box. Smart move, does not get hit by the grenade. And now Chick is going to be watching his flag. Classic, they were super aggressive to start this game, but since the counter cap from Believe the Hype, they really haven't been pushing nearly as much, Scott. And that's surprising to me. Gosayami's always been one of those players who always just goes all the way, doesn't stop with charging, and so this is new to me. Yeah, here we go. Chig shutting down Cloud. He now has more sniper ammo to work with, only four bullets. But Chig, he's one of those players who can use all four of those to connect with headshots. Going up against Demon D. Nice grenade from Demon D is going to shut him down. We're going to jump back on board with the Believe the Hype squad. And let's listen in until the next flag is in jeopardy. Too long, too long. They're going to be our train. Our training, our training, our training, our training degree, our training degree. Right side along, right side along. If he goes to the right side. Two green, help. 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 Two green,
And now we're going to see his Believe the Hype is going to send Demon D in for another flag attempt. He's going to get shut down, though. Nice play out of Chig and go stay on me. All four dead for classic. We're going back over to believe the hype. Perfect play by Maniac to shut down the flag attempt. Demon D, the last member of life for Believe the Hype. He's trying to prevent Chick from grabbing that flag. Dosiami has his eyes on it as well. And a nice play by Demon D to get behind the both of them. Both of these teams are positioning themselves so well right now when they don't have control. They're hiding in the Needler pit, which is exactly what you need to do when you don't have control and you spawn ball. And we have to make a point here. It's been 10 minutes and 40 seconds off the clock. Only one flag for both teams. Very evenly matched so far to start this matchup, Scott. And both teams know what's on the line, and they're going to play it as smart as they possibly can. That's why you're not seeing too much random charges, Chris. We've got an update from the floor. We got Carbon taking out uh, Instinct in game number two, and they're up 2 0 in the series. Which is incredibly surprising to me, Fruit, because we just saw how hot Instinct was when they were playing up against Triggers Down. It looked like they were playing the best we've seen them all season. But I mean, their Instinct's heat had to compare with Carbon's heat because Carbon took out straight. Ripping 3 0, the defending champs. That's true, that's true. Did not get a chance to see that, but we did see what Carbon had up against Final Boss earlier on the main stage. But right now, we're checking out as Demon D and are trying to lock down the sword side of the map. Meanwhile, all of Classic has pushed through the long haul, and they're making a move on the Believe the Hype base. Demon D having to double back all the way back around to try and get in position to stop this flag. He's the last one alive. And Soldier 187 is going to change that. We're jumping on board with Best Man. He's got the second flag of the game. Moving here for Classic. And there we go. Best Man's going to put it in. So nice coordinated push by Team Classic through the long haul in green box. They picked up a triple kill. And then Demon D was the last member alive. A nice no scope by Soldier 187 shut him down, and they were able to convert the flag attempt. Now they have to look out, though. Believe the hype is angry, and they know with just three minutes and 45 seconds left in regulation time, the pressure is on them to get back so, over to the classic phase. You want to check out Soldier? I'll show you some Soldier. Notice how when they ran that last flag, by the way, Chris, when Soldier was in position to spawn kill, instead of doing that, he went back and escorted the flag to ensure they would get the cap. That's the plays you want to make when you have this match. And Soldier is finally going to be taken down. Best man has the rockets and the green box. Just picked up a double kill while he had no shield. And now he's going to be able to keep his flag alive. The flag actually does return. Lux leads to leave the hype. And Shig is going to get the rockets here for Classic. So it's just three minutes left here, Scott. Classic doesn't seem to be backing off. And that's how they should be playing right now. Most teams who end up backing off, we saw triggers down at the beginning of the season back off versus final boss, and it comes to bite you in the butt. You have to keep the pressure on. If you give a team who's down with low time limit a chance to set up, they can easily win the game. And here we are, trying to keep that pressure here on this guy. He's got the Mauler pushed up on their battle rifle spawn. He comes in, misses the Mauler shot, and Maniac's going to make him pay for it. Let's jump over to Believe the Hype, though, and see how they handle the pressure with three minutes to work with. One down, one down. They're near a pit, they're near a pit. They're fine, they're fine. Good shot. Good. Green, green, green. They're green, ghost. They're green. It's inside green. Kill their green. Wild moving in for the flag. Clutch was just taken down with the sniper rifle. Maniac is going to be covering the needle side. And this looks like a perfect setup here for Believe the Hype, but a nice grenade is going to stop Cloud short. 
and they just continue to shut down the rush here from BTH for jumping back on board with Classic. And 60 seconds left on the clock now here for Team Believe the Hype to make a last minute push. We're not gonna see any more power weapons uh, respawn here in these last 50 seconds unless BTH can come back and tie it up and head to overtime. Watch, 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 make. Ghost Yami trying to push through all yeah. yeah. over all by himself there. Ghost is going to be smart. Back up, wait for his teammates to spawn, and just play a little bit of defense for his final 30 seconds, Scott. And that's what they should be doing, Chris. Honestly, what Soldier did right there ended up benefiting them because they had to kill Soldier because if they left him there, they would lose that cap potentially. So they wasted 10 seconds on just killing Soldier. And not only was he a distraction, he also showed the position of three of the four Believe the Hype members so the rest of his teammates know where they are. Now I'll go see how I mean, you know, he's just going to be watching this long haul. He knows Clutch is making a move for the flag, and four shots out of Ghost is going to shut him down. The double kill on the training, the last member alive. Well, he's on the flag. He's got to look out. It's Cloud, and Ghost knows wow. all about him. Ghost Yami shutting down all three members of Believe the Hype who pushed to his side of the map, and the game is now officially over. Team Classic will take game number one. All right, we're back here. Classic taking game one of this winner's bracket final series. Let's check out the stats. And Ghost Ayami, the one best man gave credit to, putting up 30 kills, the plus 11 and 21 assists. Check out the assist out of Soldier 187 as well. Team Classic, just too much for Believe the Hype in game one. And you'll see the score right there as we gear up and get ready for game number two. It's going to be Team Slayer on Amplified, and both of these teams here have losing records this season on this game type. And it's kind of surprising to hear that, Farouk, because both of these teams are very aggressive and they have a very good team shot when it comes to battle rifles on a small map like Amplified. I'm kind of excited to see this one. And I don't know who you have to give the edge to, but if Best Man is playing like he was yesterday, uh, he's going to be the screen I'm going to be watching to start this game. Sorry, imagine our mystery ball. You know, when we, when we know to push out, you know, but yeah. at the same time. All we're right, we got both coaches right down there on the floor getting their teams ready as you're taking a look at Believe the Hype. Scott, how do you tie, if you're classic, how do you make sure you go and you take advantage of this game too and you can keep the pressure on? You just keep the momentum coming. That was a great game one to start off with. You know, get all the jitters out. It's the first match of the day. Now you just ride off that wave. But you know what? This is also a great game time for Believe the Hype to bounce right back. It's one of the fastest Team Slayer maps we have. There's no power weapons, no power-ups. It's all about the battle rifle. And we're going to watch one of the naughtiest battle rifles on the circuit. It's going to be Soldier 187 to start this one up. And as soon as he dies, I'm going to the guy right in front of Soldier right now. It's Best Man. Hey, Best Man and Soldier, nice teamwork to start this one off, Scott. That's that's you surprising me because Soldier and Bestman normally don't run together. Soldier normally runs with Chig and Ghost runs with Bestman. And here we have Soldier 187 constantly getting behind Believe the Hype. You see Demon D with the dead sprint run straight at Bestman. Meanwhile, Cloud is picking up a double kill from Believe the Hype. It's all tied up 5-5 five to five to start this one. And like we said, one of the fastest game types on the circuit. And when you talk to Sundance DG Giovanni, he'll tell you the game really begins at 30 kills. We're going to lay out until then. Maniac, push out, car red. 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 Maniac, push out, car red.
Right now, Scott, Cloud has 12 kills and you just saw him put up a killing spree. Cloud, Cloud's definitely taking his time with this one, Chris. Best, or the classic squad's really putting themselves in bad situations, staying at gold and pink, and Cloud's just taking advantage of that by going red, red tower or blue tower. And we're seeing a lot of assists coming from Demon D and Maniac. Right now, let's check out Demon D as he's gonna move over to help Cloud out over on the right side of the map, the gold side. Soldier 187 doing work from top middle. He's finally going to be taken down. It's 36 to 30. Just 14 kills to complete the hype. Only a six kill difference though, and we've seen huge swings on Amplify. Missing the back smack, and Demon D is going to be taken down. That was a rough one for him. Let's jump back over with Best Man. He set up P3, and he's moving in on the rest of the Bleed the Hype squad. He's moving in from gold. Missing the stick, and he's going to be taken out. We're jumping on board with Chick, sitting top red. And really, Classic just unable to finish their kills so far is what I've been watching, Scott. It's not even so much finishing the kills. Yeah, they're getting away, but they're putting themselves in terrible positions. The only person I've seen in good position this entire game is Chick when he was top red. You see Best Man running bottom middle. You see Ghost going bottom gold. They're just all, they're very unorganized right now. And just two kills away now for Believe the Hut. Maniac on a killing spree. Cloud going for the final kill on the base. I think Maniac's going to get it on Ghost down low. And he misses the melee. Ghost gets away, but Demon D cleans it up. Believe the Hype ties the series up. All right, coming right back at you here. All tied up here in this winner's bracket finals. And let's take a look at the stats. All four members of Believe the Hype going positive clutch. 13, 12, and 11. Meanwhile, Maniac and Cloud both putting up plus five. And there you have it. We're all even. Classic and Believe the Hype tied at one as we head up and get ready for game number three right after this quick break. <laughs> 